Mystery Science Theater 3000, show 413, real one. In the not too distant future, next Sunday AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at his Monic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. We'll send the cheesy movies, the worst we can find. You'll have to sit and watch them all, and we'll monitor his mind. Now keep in mind, Joe can't control where the movies begin or end. Because he used those special parts to make his robot friends. Robot, cool, cool, cabot, family. Gypsy, hi girl, Tom Servo, what a cool guy. Cool. You're wondering how he eats and breathes and other science facts. Then repeat to yourself, it's just the show. I should really just relax. Oh, mystery science. It's snack time! Oh, hi everybody. Welcome to the Satellite of Love. I'm Joel Robbins, and we're just waiting for this week's experiment. This is Crow T. Robot. Oogie Oogie. And this is Tom Servo. You got bugles? I love bugles. You know, you, know, you guys, I was just talking to TV's Frank, and he was saying how this week's movie is in black and white. Pretty cool, oh, huh? Oh, no, not another black and white. Oh, come on, Crow. Black and white's gritty. It helps get across the harsh realism that is everyday life. Oh, gee, sounds like fun. The way I see it, Robinson, the Jodes had a depressing enough life as it was, and then they filmed it in black and white. Give me color! Give me some pizzazz! Hey, what do you think, Tom Servo? Uh, about what? Well, you know that how some of our movies are in black and white, and some of our movies are in color. Uh, I'm not sure I understand the question. Oh, come on! Movie A, color! Movie B, black and white. Well, look, we can't all notice the same subtleties. Subtleties? Uh, Why, that's not even the point of Just a second, Crow. Um, what? What? Tom, what color is my jumpsuit? Red. Okay, and what color is crow? Red. Commercial sign. Five, four, three, two. What, what color is Dr. Forrester? Red. What about it? Okay, I think I know what's wrong. We'll be right back. You have a very kind face. Tom, now cut it out. I said you were colorblind, not blind. I might as well be. For all the azure skies, I've missed all the green fields and apple blossoms I've never truly seen. When I think of the elaborate stories you've had to invent oh. to cover for the hideous lie you've been living, oh, oh Tom, it wouldn't have mattered to me. You guys, you guys, you, you, you guys, listen to me. You're taking this all too seriously. I, I think Tom just has a simple red-green color deficiency. Oh, oh uh, Joel, Bosch and Lahm are calling. Oh, you're colorblind. Uh, what color is this? <laughs> what color is this? <laughs> Sorry. Well, Joel, you may not know that Frank and I, with a little prompting from the Utney Reader, have been hosting a weekly discussion salon. Yet with our hectic schedules, oftentimes our guests will arrive before we've had time to properly review Susan Faludi's backlash, much less give the apartment that suitable bohemian look. That's why we've developed these new beanbag pants. Now, these pants uh, allow you to relax anywhere uh, and to sit down and have a nice hot cup of talk. Uh, uh, Frank, why haven't you put your pants on yet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, of course. I kid Baby Frank, got but... back! Ugh. Actually, you know what? They're perfect for sit-ins. Imagine just once integrating a southern lunch counter in cushy comfort. Yes, indeed, and they're perfect for those whispery discussions of white guilt with good friends. Frank? You know, I thought that the invention lacked a certain je ne sais quoi, a certain depth. Uh, I disagree, and yet it's so refreshing to meet someone with a fresh opinion like yours. Gosh, sirs, that actually seems like a really nice idea, promoting open dialogue and social change. 
Today's invention exchange from the satellite of love is based on the premise that it's a really good idea to wear recycled paper as clothing, and we've got a persuasive presentation to prove it. I'm Gypsy, and yesterday's news is tomorrow's fish and chip paper. Remember to pitch in. That's right, Gypsy. Her dress was a tree, then it was a pile of newspapers, now it's a dress, and soon it'll be a pithy greeting card. Pretty responsible, eh? I'm Crow, and my suit is made entirely out of used Viva paper towels. I wear it at the discos, because I'm the quicker picker-upper. Ha, <laughs> 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 true, Crow. So absorbent. You know, you could spill soup, drool, or even drop a pitcher of margaritas on him, and he'll remain warm and dry. And I'm Tom Servo, and I may be colorblind, but it's plain to see I'm wearing a dress. What am I, that girl? Maybe so. In that case, you can't afford to be seen in the same thing twice. Change in a flash with our flash paper clothing. Just one flick of the bick and... Uh oh Whoa! Oh, for crying out loud, not only am I colorblind, I'm flash blind now, too. Oh, jeez, I'm going to go lay down. Oh, oh, jeez. There go the drapes. What do you think, sirs? Sorry we missed that, Joel. Uh, anyway, your movie this week is called Manhunt in Space. But first, a little kinescope suppository from our video depository. It's an old general hospital. Don't make me walk all the way over there, Phil. This will cheer you up, Danny. I called Cynthia and asked her to dinner, and she accepted to celebrate the engagement. Thanks, Nurse Ratchet. It was great. Well, certainly it was your idea. It's what well, you wanted. Right. right, I said it was great. Didn't I? We'll have a ball. It really cheered you up, eh, Phil? Cheapers. <laughs> Sorry, dear. I will now perform a modern dance to express my true feelings. Well, this is about general hospital stuff, you know, those little wrist tags, billing, that kind of thing. Hospital is brought to you by Candle Ray. Going up, Mr. Tyler. Excuse me. Could I get a excuse? Sorry. Oh. Sounds like general hospital on ice. Good morning, Lucy. Good morning, Jesse. I'll get it. He's the dark nurse of the soul. Yes, Dr. Hardy. The new exes and Mrs. Lyons, well, I wouldn't know. I just came on duty. Hmm. I think she's been into the perka dance. Yes, I'll bring you in if they're here. Lucille, mm -hmm. the tilt film on Mrs. Lyons, has it come up the next day? Oh, yes. <clears throat> Here are your headshots for the Young and the Restless audition. It's a new car! Oh, yeah. Hello, I've been in the bell tower all morning. Good morning, Dr. Brewer. Good morning, Michelle. Did you just hear? Yeah, she just came on duty. Yeah, she's a chief on duty. Didn't you come to the hospital together? No, I left the apartment before she did. Took a walk. See what you can do about making this lobby spookier. Jeez, mm -hmm. he really sucked the air out of this room. I guess it's a wonderful but weird institution, eh, Clampett? I wouldn't know, Miss Mom. I'm not very bright. Uh, looking at it from the other end of the stethoscope, neither would I. Uh, Swiss Miss, will you give me another cup of cocoa? More letters on how unappealing you are, sir. She kind of looks like Uncle Milty. Mm. Uh, here comes Nurse Ferratu. hospital commits suicide. Mm. Mm. Jesse, mm. did you decide to invite oh Cynthia God, and Ken Martin to dinner to celebrate the engagement? Did you decide to invite Cynthia and Ken Martin to dinner to celebrate the engagement? Help clear the air. Oh, I don't know, Lucille. So I'm having my guts. It's very smart. Well, it's what Phil suggested, isn't it? Phil? Phil suggested, but I'm not very sure that he really wants oh, it. Oh, Phil this, Phil that. Everything's Phil, Phil, Phil. Well, what are they going to do? What Sort of make the engagement official. Sort of make the engagement official. Cynthia's going to marry Ken Martin. That's what it'll do. That's what it'll do. At least I hope you're right. Would you please take a breath, Mint? Oh, excuse me. Hey, Doctor. So, uh, what's the barber doing here? Oh, I'd like to countersign the medication for Mr. Turner. Oh, yes. Say. Geez, he was old even then. <laughs> I'll be in Martha Lyons' room. Yes, Dr. Hardy. Good morning, Jesse. Good morning, Dr. Hardy. 
Man, I still got it, don't I? Damn, I'm good. Good morning, Jesse. Was a stroke of genius. Oh, doctor, do you mind? I think you're being a little unfair. She's nude. I know that you're a doctor, and maybe it is a simple case of indigestion, but I'm worried. I want to be absolutely sure that there's nothing wrong. Oh, my barber's here. Gotta go. George, Dr. Hardy just came into the room. He looks as though he might have some news for me. Oh, it's just about that cyst with yes, teeth and hair. He does. Yes, I'll call you back, dear. Bye. Hi, that was uh, Vince Edwards. He gave me a second opinion. Yes, Walter. There is something wrong with me? Yes, you've been hospitalized. Hmm. You have what's known as a hiatus hernia. <gasps> Which means I win the pool, but that's beside the point. What is that? Well, it's nothing to be too alarmed about, but it is to be taken seriously, and it's quite rare. Nothing an expensive operation can't How complicate. How are you able to diagnose that? Those uh, last x-rays, we took the tilt x-rays, they revealed it. And you might have noticed you've been vomiting a lot lately. What is it? I've never heard of it. A hiatus hernia? You calling me a liar? Get out! Get out! Well... The body sees a hernia as a series of ones and zeros. Where the esophagus goes into the stomach. The constriction is most likely to happen when the stomach is full. After you've had something to eat or drink. Uh, is this going to be Just on the final? More simply, when the stomach enlarges, it gets pinched at this opening. To put it even more simply, you eat like a pig. After all my doubts. I'm Eric Stoltz in mask. And all of George is insisting that there was nothing wrong with me. Hmm. That bastard. There is something wrong with me. Yes. Yes, you're a spooky New York actress. I was pretty sure your pain wasn't imaginary. In fact, the pain associated with a hiatus hernia is very intense. And it's almost identical to a coronary occlusion or a heart Here, let me punch you in the sternum to simulate Why, the pain. Why does the pain go away after a few minutes? Well, it usually disappears when you get up and walk around, doesn't it? Hint, hint. Well, then you see the stomach has more room. Well, I could see how that would... Huh? Steve, can something be done to this? Nope, of course. <coughs> My first suggestion is that you try a couple of weeks of hospital care with special attention to diet. And then I'll do my Gregory Peck impression. can't cure the condition that way or, or come close to it. We may have to consider surgery. Surgery? Well, let me assure you, Martha, there's no great cause for alarm. Oh, it's dangerous and painful, but don't worry. And I'm very hopeful that we can get rid of it without surgery. I have performed surgery once before, although the person didn't survive. I feel confident. Who's going to tell my husband all about this? How about his wife? I will, if you like. But I think it might be a better idea if you told Dr. Lyons yourself. Maybe you could use a puppet. Of course, I'll be happy to answer any questions he might ask or, or have a consultation with him about it. George is going to be very upset. He hates hiatus hernias. Because you really have something wrong? Oh, not only that, it, it's you. Hmm. You proved that he was wrong. He said that it was indigestion or just my imagination. Running away with Martha. <laughs> This hernia is a difficult thing to diagnose. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's very difficult. Well, look at the trouble I had. And I'm brilliant. Yes, but you did diagnose it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so your husband's a putz. Anyway, for a couple of weeks, we'll give you plenty of rest and a special diet. So don't worry, we'll take good care of you. Now, about that hair. And don't forget, we've scheduled that lobotomy first thing Monday morning. And now taking the ice, your Minnesota North Stars. <laughs> I saw Howard Hunt in space. I saw Linda Hunt in space. I saw Hunt's Hall in space. Oh. Hmm. An adventure of tomorrow for today's troubled teens. Tracy and Hepburn, Bogart and Call, Mansfield and Leiden. Hmm. Mama Maurice Cass. Hmm. This really, really is a Lestrange movie. <laughs> or a <laughs> Streng movie. Cough up a Roy Luby. Never did give nothing to Bill Tinsman, but he didn't. Deny. I 
it wanted to hurl after I read the screenplay. Horror. Hi, guy. <laughs> Arthur Pearson, the inventor of the salted nut roll. Oh, is the great Hollingsworth Morse going to direct? <laughs> this is the part where the um, zag nut is fertilized by the salted nut roll. Ooh. Look, it's the MST3K logo up there. supposed to know about <clears throat> Reggie. Bad dog. Bad dog. Seal graph open. You know I'm expecting to hear from Rocky. I wanted to bring in Casa Seven. There it is. It's a Crunchberry. Time's up. I contacted Casa Central Control Station, and they're holding communications open. Can I speak to my brother, Paul? Well, I asked for him. They said he's at the landfill inspecting construction on the new landing platform. I'll soon see him. In hell. It'll be wonderful. <laughs> How long since you've seen your brother, Vina? An hour. Almost three years. Mm. He'll be on the Casa 7 project another five years. Mm. What happened, Reggie? Ah, oh, the Playboy Channel scrambled again. All the instruments are dead. So am I. Well, it seems normal. This is weird. So am I. Check the rockets. Rocket thrust to zero. Gee, that makes me bitter. Well, and the animation sucks, too. Oh, brother. MC7, are they any relation to the MC5? Maybe. Something has neutralized every bit of our equipment. Even my acting. There's not a thing we can do about it. No way to check speed or position and not a chance to make contact with anyone. It's not fair. We may have us under robot control. I don't know, Vina. I just don't know. I don't know of any way of finding out. Might as well just fade this scene out. This is what the Heritage Foundation will look like if you contribute. Exterminate! 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 Sure hope my support belt holds up. Just kept that spaceship physiograph busy for an hour. She knew I was going to call. Well, she's having a vacation, Rocky. Now, for me, let me relax with a little black book and the gay nightlife. Uh, uh, insert I joke here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here, relax, Rocky. I'll give you a couple of choice pages. Here's Christopher, oh, Trevor, Todd, Kyle. Oh, hmm? You're in the army now. No. You're gonna always get your child. Oh, Mr. You'll never Secretary, get rich, but... I'm glad I found you in Rocky. But I'm not There's in Rocky. Something I'd like to discuss, if it doesn't upset your plans. It won't, sir. After all, this is your off-duty period. Well, the, uh, we can report well, once, well, No, I won't be able to... No. 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 You know, by 1980, everyone will have phones oh, like this. Kiss the beautiful girls goodbye. Mm. And the gay nightlife. And the gay nightlife. Uh, so but he's I'm talking about... Yet. Well, uh, never mind. Rocky? What's up, buddy, program? I'm on a mission. Well, that's all right, sir. Uh, I can take care of canceling our vacation plans, I guess. Canceling your vacation? Perhaps I should assign someone else to the mission. How about Major Healy? Sorry being Mr. Secretary. That's right. We'd rather ride the rocket, sir. <laughs> Which is Make yourself comfortable. Thank you. I don't know where this problem is going to lead. I don't it's know how to love. <laughs> well, sir, you know us. We're not happy unless we're in trouble. Oh, no, uh, I mean... <laughs> get, I out, mean get out! Get out! First, I'll fill you in on some of the details. I've prepared us all. The United Worlds, as you know, are fortifying the planetoid Casa 7 as a joint control station for our entire solar system. I did not know oh, that. Oh, yes. Professor Newton told us something about the project. In preparing Casa 7, each of the United Worlds is furnishing strategic and, in most cases, restricted materials. And they're releasing it to teams. But lately, there have been disturbing reports of cargo spaceships vanishing on the way to Car 7. Hmm. I've been official. Yes, I can. You could We're in contact by Visiograph with Mars, sir. They request Secretary Drake. I'll take it on my receiver. Excuse me, boys. I have to take this. You understand? There's my Lichtenstein. More calling Orson. More Mr. calling Drake, Orson. Speaking from Earth. Speaking from Mars. Runus here. Hmm? This is the final report on our supply spaceship Double M en route to Casa 7. 
It is now two moon cycles overdue. I'm so is she. We must presume it to be lost. Space Rangers are being assigned immediately to investigate the entire situation of missing cargo ships. I know you'll keep us informed, Mr. Secretary. Ask You'll have a report within a solar month. Greetings from Earth, Runis. Greetings from Mars. Ciao, baby. Secretary right back Frank. at you. What a jerk. Sorry you had to see that. You heard. That's the third spaceship vanished within a week. You know, of course, sir, that Vina's on her way to Casa 7 on a cargo ship. That's right, sir. Rocky's been trying to call Vina. I've been unable to make contact. And frankly, sir, I'm a bit worried. We'll put your mind at ease. Sir. I've got something that'll put you through the floor, boys. Mm. Higgins. Send in the clouds. Yes, sir. Don't bother. There Get here. a report from Casa 7. I want to know if cargo spaceship CM7 has landed. And bring me some sleepy we'll time tea. minutes, Rocky. We want to find out what's happening to the cargo ships. So I'm sure it can be done, sir, by using our space station. Scott Tracy. You're the troubleshooter, Rocky. Anime. Run down every possibility. We've got to find the answer, or there'll be repercussions throughout our entire system. Jin, get Denno. Round up every known hood on the island. The report from Casa 7, sir. Let's have it. It says, Help! Was last heard from as it was about to enter the gravity field for the approach. Since then, there's been no word Man, from the ship. ever bite? I need a career change. Contact with it Ooh. have failed. CM7 has disappeared into space. Thank you, Higgins. Very good. Very good indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Very With your good. permission, sir, I'd like to start by tracing spaceship CM7. Of course. This mission is in your hands. Good. We can blast off within the hour. Winky. I wonder if Winky has a nickname. Ha! <laughs> Get the orbit jet ready for blast off, Winky. I'm going to see Professor Newton for a moment. The rockets will be ready to roar. Oh, I'd like to slap him so hard. Kids, close that door. We're not trying to heat the outside. Come on. And that's how cattle are inseminated. <laughs> no, yeah. we move on. Now, we'll have to give this at least a four-hour exposure, Bobby. Well, that's the longest one yet. How come you don't have to wear stretch pants, Grandpa? Oh, Rocky, we're making some wonderful pictures of Scorpus with hydrogen light. Yeah, that's great. What we need are some trick snapshots of Casa 7. Your tone tells me there's trouble. Perhaps, but I don't know what it is, Professor. Except that it concerns Casa 7. Vladimir Horowitz. Secretary Drake will tell you the whole story. But this much I wanted you to know. on has vanished in the space. I'm going to help, Rocky. Please let me help. This is one time I'd like to say no, Bobby, but I can't. <laughs> you outrank me. Thanks a million. You won't be sorry. We'll find Vina. I'm you already sorry, us. Bobby. Now run along, get packed. Meet us at the blast off platform. Not a word of our meetings, Bobby. Professor Newton. How are the fig cookies coming along? I don't know where this flight is going to take us. Maybe to the far limits of our solar system. Maybe to the darkest reaches of our souls. Something you wish to ask me, Rocky? Yes, yes Did you ever dance with the devil in the anything, pale moonlights? Any new discovery still held secret that might help us? Yes, there is. But I've been fearful of even discussing it. Except with Bobby. Only used, it could have cataclysmic results. Vina's life may be at stake. Let's go, let's go. Okay. I'll show you. I'll show you the power of cold light. Cold light? Peggy, I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. Oh my God, what is it? Is it a hiatus hernia? No, it's not that. Is it the heartbreak of psoriasis? No, it's not that. Is it Mogo on the go-go? -go? No, I'm afraid it's much worse than that. Oh, please, Doc, tell me what it is. Well, it seems that when you were walking down the hall earlier, the back of your hospital gown was open and everyone could see your butts. I'll never live down the shame. <laughs> you know, my dear, in tough situations like this, I've found in the past that the best thing a patient can do uh, is be comforted by me, uh, Dr. Chad Fieldcart. Uh, you uh, can't! Uh, darling, I know you were cheating on me! I can, ex I you I I can explain, oh, darling. Oh, 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 hey, a nice butt! Oh, I know I can. Oh, I'll never live down the other. Oh, Peggy, hey. I can comfort you. Hey, wait, say what?
what's going on here? Oh no, it's Dr. Joe Robinson, the heart-drinking, two-fisted, cantankerous, yet lovable hospital administrator. I am not. Oh no, and he's suffering from amnesia. Oh, the pain. You, the misery. you guys, I'm not going to play soap opera with what? you. When huh? I was nine years old, my sister made me play soap opera. I'm not going to play soap opera. I won't play oh, soap opera. Sh- Okay, Camba, that's it. That's it. All right, that's it. That's it. Who's next? <laughs> They must have seen us. The ship Thanks was a lot, Joel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It didn't have any markings. It may have come from Casa 7. We'll soon find out. Can they come alongside us? Yes, I'm sure the magnetic lock's in operation. Wow, that was better than I thought. Outside. Probably aligning the airlock hatch. It's an old lady. She rear-ended him. Mm. What are they doing, Joe? They're telling secrets. Oh, yeah. They've yeah. reached the hatch. We're connected now. Oh, hang on a minute. Got to put my head in the salad spinner. There. Oh, he didn't even turn the handle. My, what a cheap, crummy special effect. I'm home. I brought Mr. Dithers along. Boy, I told you to find adventure and not bring it home with you. Hi, can I be submissive for anyone? Are you from Casa 7? I can if you want me to be. On Casa 7, they don't even know you're alive. And you're the ones who neutralized our equipment. You're real bright to figure that out for yourself. Thanks. That's nice of you. Hey! Relax or you won't be alive. Um, anyone for coffee? Um, uh, uh, I'll just wait here then. Psst, buddy. Hey, check this out. There's a ton of cool stuff in here. Oh, cool. You don't even have to push any buttons to get in. This is, cr- oh man, this is where they store their costumes. It's fantastic. VCRs, Nintendo, it's great. Fudge. Mm, I'll throw this caramel apple at him. Do do do, nothing behind my back. Hi. Little song, little grace, little seltzer in your face. (laughs) I'll take that. (laughs) Casa Seven, love it or leave it, buddy. We're gonna play Limbo real low. I think it's played by Trip Shakespeare. (laughs) Vina, your space gun. But what about it? Oh, oh, I should get it. Okay, fine. If you have to, use it. Ask questions later. Mm -hmm. I'll get through to Casa 7 on the Astrophone in their ship. But if I shoot him, I can't ask questions. No, you see, it's a figure of speech. Uh Shoot six shots of seltzer at seven. <laughs> All right, hand me that terrarium now. Mm. Ouch. Well, Mrs. Cockle. Okay, now bark like a dog and you start chewing the other one's leg. Malvina, you'll drop it. He's doing a grand jeté. Look. Get over there. Nice work. If you can get it, good. You can get it. Operators. Only you don't have any brains. Now see if you can get their cargo into our ship without tripping over it. But you just said we were smart. Oh, I get it. Awkward. <laughs> So, Rinkman, you've ended up as a space pirate. At least you can't sink any lower. Well, I very pay you, Lena. And to get it, you destroy spaceships. Oh, well, it's... Huh? Hey, it's the Sucker Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I saw a kid, a college kid, stick his head in a party ball one time. Mm-hmm. You won't be harmed. Mm-hmm. We just neutralized your ship's rockets and equipment. And your stomach acid. Why are we still in normal flight? You're not. You're revolving around Casa 7 in a fixed orbit. Hmm. Just like the moon revolves around the Earth. How? 
We cut your power and neutralized your equipment. And your pass the savings on to you. Balanced against the gravity of CASA 7. That's what happened to the other ships you pirated. That's right. Uh, You'll be revolving around CASA 7 for the next million years. Or until a piece of meteoric waste hits the ship. Or until I turn Make into sure Robert Stack. you're not identified. I'll have the markings removed from your ship. You have found a new way to commit murder. You noticed. Well, don't give me any credit, Vina. Dr. Vanko worked it out. I just make sure that no other spaceship bothers you. Why, you, you person, you... <laughs> there goes a Norway! Yeah. Oh, our air isn't good enough for the Johnsons. They have to bring their own. Ringman? It's a boy. It's the last of it. I'll send your pilot back. You don't have to yell. I'm sitting right next to you. Oh, I almost forgot. Your dad In called. In case you're expecting help from Rocky Jones, forget it. He's out of commission. I've got a decoy spaceship waiting for him. The orbit jet will be blown to bits. <laughs> I can't pretend I'm not enjoying this. Orbit jet. Orbit jet. Orbit jet. Orbit jet. Orbit jet. So, uh, which ship is there? Is the phallic one or the phallic one? Oh, I think it's the phallic one. Uh? We'll call you. Thanks for breakfast. Oh, boy, no. Way to go, Bob. Do we have a chance? No use kidding ourselves, Athena. Nope. It's like a million to one shot that we'll ever be seen. Oh, they're on Comedy Central. Like finding a tiny fragment in infinite space. Until our food gives out or a meteorite hits us. That's the deal, Vina. Vina, when I go, I want you to roast me and eat me. All of it. Right Whisk now, I'm hungry. Too. I'll get lunch. Mm. Hazel, will you cook up something for dinner? Okay, Mr. B. Winky, what's our position? Leaning towards Perot. Well, let me see if I can read it. Yeah, you have to be hey, 18, what kid. What do you to do, get my job as navigator? Well, you know I wouldn't take anything that cheers your office. Mm. Go ahead and read it for me. Yeah, read it, boy. Read it. Do the funny voice. Position celestial meridian, longitude 219 degrees, 20 minutes. What is this, radio eyes? Parallel, latitude 76 degrees, 4 minutes. <laughs> Good work, Bobby. Oh, Winky. Yeah, Rocky. Jettison Bobby. Casa 7. They still have no word from Venus spaceship. Oh? Well, maybe we better start scanning the radar effects, huh? What do you think, Bobby? Idea. Our flight will take us into Casa's atmosphere. Hey, Winky. A spaceship at 5 o'clock. Who? Major Luck. Oh. Can you identify it? Yeah, it's a spaceship at 5 o'clock. Yeah, it's a Mars spaceship. over the ship at R-400. Uh, okay. Release rockers on count five. Okay. Starting run. Okay. One, two. What comes after two? Um, Three, oh. four, five. Hakiba. Well, the double M just became the scrambled M. <laughs> get out, get out! <laughs> so the full report can be sent to Mars Space Headquarters. Oh! What did you hit? Sighted enemy. Smeared same. Why do I have to miss all the excitement? Because we don't like you and you're a bad person. Just starting. Keep the radar backs open, Winky. I'm sure we're in an area our unknown enemies don't want us to search. Yes, sir. Yes, it's a dark forbidden area full of secrets and shame. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and dial again. If you'd like to make a call. Object ahead. Could you be more vague, Winky? Object about two solar minutes ahead of us. Yeah, shut up. What's going on, Winky? Right, Bobby. Professor Newton can be proud of you. Elemental, my dear Rocky. Elemental. Elemental? Yeah. Dipstick. Hold on, Winky. When we're halfway there, we'll be able to tell if it's a spaceship. Rocky? Why'd you bring this on your orbit jet? Oh, that, that's oh, our Russian bird. Well, that's something Professor Newton's been working on for a long time. I know. It's cold light. Oh, then he's told you about it, huh? Yes, we discussed it, and I gave him my opinion. Well, I know he appreciated that. Cold light 
light should never be used indiscriminately. The gamma rays could be fatal to those who use it. Remember that, kids. Yes, uh, Professor Newton warned me. Rocky, it's a space in the head. Hey, has Bobby been giving you that cold light crap? Hey, that's us five minutes ago. Safety box. Except you, Bobby. Bobby been getting to you? You thinking what I'm thinking? Yep, I got a headache this big and it's got Bobby written all over it. This is the XB-2 calling spaceship at approximately celestial meridian 190 degrees. Mm -hmm. Celestial parallel 80 degrees. Come in, identify yourself. I am Kirak. This is the XB-2 calling spaceship at approximately celestial meridian 180 degrees. Celestial parallel 90 degrees. Come in, identify yourself. I have no idea what I'm saying, over. It's a spaceship, Reggie. No. It's oh, Rocky boy, nothing in the gets past her. We have to get some signal to him. We're helpless, Vina. The rocket missiles. We can't operate the tubes. I had them tied. If we could, firing them wouldn't be safe. I mean, force them through the tubes. Drop them overside. They'd have to see that and not pass us by. It might we made work. you the expert. We could give it a try. We may have enough auxiliary power to drop them off. Hey. Winky must die. Bobby. But, huh? Look at their missile tube, starboard. It's starting to open. Duh. We're going to be ducking missiles in a minute. Port rocket, Winky. Same run. Fire missile on count five. Repeat on five. Repeat on five. Repeat on five. Look, shut up. Starting run. Check. One, two, three, four. Hold it, Winky. Hold fire. Coughed up a furball. Mm. They ejected the rocket. They weren't firing it. That was meant as a signal to us. Maybe the ship's in some kind of trouble, Rocky. Oh, get out of here, Bobby. Clear the Clearly room. Looking. We're going alongside. Yes. The orbit jet is gone. Oh. Stupid car. Stupid, Stupid car. car. Well, this is kind of like Diver Dan, only without all the majesty and grandeur. Epics. Oh, look at that effect. Industrial light magic. <laughs> You've done it again. Just <laughs> come alongside. I'll open the airlock catch. Oh, great. That really worked good last time you did that. Yeah, get on your mini greenhouse. I'm turning this wheel. Really? I'm turning it. Doesn't it look like it? <laughs> Waits. Where have you been? You could have called. Oh, hi, Bobby. Hi, Winky. Rocky! Bobby! <laughs> uh, you had us worried. I was never so happy to see anyone in all my life. Why didn't you answer our signal? Our power and equipment were neutralized. Our spaceship is a satellite of Casa 7. How'd that happen? Brinkman and Dr. Vanko, the two renegades from Earth, arranged it. Oh, so they're the cause of all the trouble. They've taken up space pirating. They came alongside and took off all our cargo. And your S cargo. Well, you can give me a complete rundown on our way to Casa 7. We can't get out of our orbit, Rocky. Oh, I think we can. No. The orbit jet will take you out. We'll stay in magnetic lock. Tandem pole will do the job. You better stay by the controls here, Reg. Vina, you come on the orbit jet with me, hmm? That's like going home, Rocky. I, I know. told them we'd find you, Vina. Didn't I, Rocky? Yeah, shut, up, shut up, shut up, shut up! One day, all of you space losers will be working for me, and I mean it, too. Did the universe move for you, too? Oh, yes. don't you start. Mm -hmm. Why don't we light up? <laughs> XP2 calling Casa 7. Come in, Casa 7. I'm speaking to you over a Jimmy Dean Casa sausage. Seven Central Station to XV2. Requesting landing clearance. Say please. Bringing spaceship CM7 in on tandem pull. Landing platform in readiness. Please report at 10 miles. We'll bring you in for ground control approach. Out. Out. That was easy. <laughs> An albino five point buck. We have to look at him, sir. Yeah, kind of squint. It's back in there. Look, a little bit. Stand by twin landing platforms. Ready magnetic locks. It's only a 
a matter of seconds now. My sister Vina can't be any happier than I am. If you don't know Vina, no Vina. Look at this. This is us at the Grand Canyon. When in Duluth, visit the lift bridge. Uh, sir, you're in an assigned parking space. Sir, sir. The orbit jet and CN7 and magnetic lock are safely landed, sir. Can I have a cookie? He's got a really high butt. Mm. Sure does. Mm. I'll bet you you're excited, Vina. I'm excited and happy and thankful I reached Casa 7. <laughs> Your big brother's probably waiting outside now. Let's roll, boys. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Very funny, Winky. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Joel, I stand and chuckle and wonder at the space dialogue in this so-called space movie. I know, movies like this are always trying to show how futuristic they are by putting the word space in front of everything. Well, it's a classic overuse of what's known as a modifier. And in this movie, the, our grammatical friend, the modifier, puts in triple over time. You see, they eat their space lunch, they take their space pills, there was a space girlfriend on the ship, there was a pesky space kid, space this, space that. <laughs> yeah, with all the man hours spent on ingenious plot points and carefully crafted character development, there was no time for hard research. And hey, did you get a load of those really cheap props made to look like bona fide <laughs> space equipment? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, well, you know, it makes you wonder if people did this sort of thing in every era, doesn't it? Right. Like in the old days of the old west. Yeah. Uh, maybe frontier people ate frontier chips with frontier onion dip and rode their frontier transportation down to the frontier meeting place to watch some frontier entertainment and then some of them used their frontier guns and frontier rifles to settle a game of frontier poker in which somebody frontier Cheated a front pair of Fremont. <laughs> <sighs> the implications are staggering. The most temporal social intercourse with one's peers might escalate to the degree that neither party knows what of the other speaks, thus profoundly affecting interpersonal relationships, and the resulting impact could change the entire social fabric of modern civilization. Really makes you think, doesn't it? No. Uh, hey, Space Joel, space suggestion. Let's have <laughs> space au gratin potatoes for dinner tonight, space okay? Space dinner! Right, <laughs> yeah. right. That's a good idea, Spacey. I'll get my space <laughs> recipe out. The space oh. kitchen. Hey, Space Tom, looks like oh. you're getting a little space pimple on the old space noodle. I'll oh. go to the space medicine space and get you some space astringent. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, folks? Modifiers. They can be your friend, and they can be your enemy. Modifiers. Come on and zoom on, zoom on. I just can't get enough of Betty Page. Excuse you. Okay, nightlife. Hey, Winky's doing his straight jacket routine. Ooh. Oh, great. All she can make is Pop Tarts. Thanks, Fina. Can I get you anything else? No, this is just fine. Oh, did you get Bobby to bed? Yes, he's in dreamland. <laughs> so is Winky. And you're next, Fina. Turn in. Are we getting anywhere, Rocky? No, you know I'm not I ready for so. commitment. If Paul's around, I'd like to talk with him. We'll be right with you. Oh, Fina, just Paul. You'll learn all about it in the morning. Those are orders. Now run along, little astronaut. All right. Fina. Yeah. Oh, how about a little snack for me, huh? Oh, Winky, please, I'm saving myself. I'll get you a snack, you faker. Oh, Winky thinks it's good to boss around Whitman. He wants to stay in the 50s forever. I think she likes me. Uh, well, Rock, I'm raring to go. You should be after eight hours sleep. Mm, it's his air. It's like Paris in spring. No, but Paris was destroyed in the apocalypse, Winky. Hmm. There goes my social life on Casa 7. Yeah, that's right, Winky. You're real Winky. hot. That's I right. saw your girl, little black book. You had Nancy Culp's yeah. number in there. Ooh. Now it's ghostly. Why did Vina set this deal? She said to put it where the sun goes. That's Rocky's. Rocky, have you come up with anything yet? Maybe. If an unfriendly planet is behind the acts of piracy, they wouldn't operate from their home base. That'd be too easy to trace. And the United Worlds might declare open warfare. There are four or five planetoids far enough off of regular space lanes. Oh, I had planetoids once. Had to send one of those donut for things. Criminal traffic. I have checked them all, and this is the one I'd pick. Oh, 
why she's nude. Boy, and naked too. <sighs> Known as the Lonely Moon. You should know, Winky. Oh, it's 20 celestial degrees from any lane of space travel. Yes, but Rocky, you know the history of Pa. No spaceship has ever landed there because of some unknown defense barrier. That's right. the history. Three Earth spaceships set off. Hey, could I, I really like to, to say something? If you could, excuse me a second. I, I'll, I'll, the only way we'll ever find out if Pra is being used is to go there. Well, how do we get through the barrier? We ask nice. I think it can be managed. Are you sure, Rocky? All right, so we land on Pra. What then? Yeah, huh? then your gay nightlife kicks in, huh, Winky? Yeah. That's that. Nothing to do but blast off. I'll send along a couple of armed escort ships with you. Thanks, Paul, but we're not ready for any frontal attack. I don't like it, Rocky. There is something you can do. Set the table. Explain to Vina and Bobby why they can't go along. Make it personal. Hurt their feelings if you can. can. The trick is, we'll be off of Casa 7 before they're up in the morning. How's that for evil? (laughs) (laughs) Tonight on Fisher-Price Medical Center... Brother, I am way overdressed for this first day of work. Hmm. No, Mr. Winky isn't in right now. This is Rinkman speaking from Prague. Calling uh-huh. Cleolata on officious. This is Cleolata. What is there to report? I've got the cargo of Earth's spaceship CM7 safely stowed away. And Mr. Mooney, Mooney too. Mooney's in Prague until you receive delivery orders. Ask her what she's wearing. Is there anything else, Rinkman? Yes. Break down a little, Cleolanta. Ooh. Forget you're the boss. For She's got a triple minutes. menorah on her head. Hanukkah, Do you have pretty. anything more Hanukkah, to report? Hanukkah, Hanukkah, Hanukkah. A little bit. I think you'll like this. After we left the CM7 to its lonely travels, we picked up Rocky Jones on the radar vex. Nice guy. And you kept hmm. right on to Pra? Pra? Sure, why not? So he could follow you? You know, she should probably you, follow the glamour template accessory rule. Rocky mm-hmm. Jones? What do you think? I have yes. Armin, your best yes. friend. Yes, keep talking, yes. Yes. by on a decoy spaceship to blast the orbit jet into the next galaxy. Hmm? You've disobeyed my orders. Good job. I was thinking mainly of saving my own neck. Remain on pra for further orders. Out. Insubordinates. <laughs> you know something, Doc? Yeah. I think she's Sometimes hot. I think she'd rather see us dead than Rocky Jones. <laughs> oh, wasn't that joke? Atlasan. Did you call me? No, don't do that, Radar. Rickman and Dr. Benko are on pra. Excellent. Then we'll have more valuable merchandise to sell to our ally planets. Rickman and Dr. Vanko are to be executed. Executed? But what have they done? They've disobeyed my orders. Oh, well, that, hmm? I shall see that your orders are carried out. Then do it. Just do it. He landed. It's too bad that we can't get Rocky Jones to take their place. Well, it's too bad you're not in a gopher suit. What's your point? Get out. Get out! Oh, she threw Winky's black book at him. Oh, she's angry when she's beautiful. I shouldn't let my executioners get to me. I keep working my way back to you, babe. You burn folks, it's the Breakfast Flakes with you in the AM, and today's crazy call's going out to Mars. Hey, don't use that indiscriminately. Ooh, do, do, do. Oh, Winky. We're approaching Pra's gravity field, right? Yes, you can see Pra now on Visiograph. Well, what are we going to do about that defense barrier? You know, Winky? What you can't see, you can't hit. Well, does that mean you're going to hit that? me? But what are we going to do about that defense barrier? Oh, wow. I've been holding I had that out on coming. you until now, Winky, because I promised Professor Newton. Mm, I know what you mean, the coal light. I never could get you to talk about it. Professor Newton asked me not to use it until we had to. He's kept it so hush-hush that most people don't even know it exists. I'll have to brief you on it. Right. It's called a snuggie. Well, Turn around. around. By this switch. The filament in the vacuum tube mm. is quickly brought to a temperature mm. of about mm-hmm. minus 243 degrees mm-hmm. centigrade. Uh, what was the middle part again? Why all that cold? Well, Professor Newton explained it this way. Heat can affect blah, light blah, waves blah, to a point blah, where blah, images that blah, aren't blah, even blah, there blah, can blah, be seen by blah, the human blah, blah, eye. Seen by, blah, blah, like the mirages that appear on our I've seen them on the Sahara. Now, intense cold can have the opposite blah, blah, cold, effect. Blah, blah. Blot out images that are actually there. I'm sorry, I wasn't when this listening. Light is switched on, the rays sent out by the terrifically cold light 
will make the orbit jet invisible. Well, how can we fly a ship we can't see? The cold light will surround the ship. You idiots. We'll be able to see everything normally here in the cabins, but no one will be able to see us. Well, if that can't get us through any defense barrier, nothing can. Oh, just one point, Winky. Shut we up. have to fight time. We don't know how long the cold lamp will operate, so stand by to switch it up, hmm? Right. Okay. Sir. It's a universal film. We're entering cross gravity field. Switch it on, Winky. Okay. There, you see, I did it, Rocky. I did it. I switched it on. How did I do? Did I do well? I switched it on. I did it. I did it. Did you see that? I switched it on. I can do it. I can do it. I did it. You know if the ship's invisible. Will I feel invisible? Sure. If something hits us, we'll know the cold light didn't work. That's finding out the hard way. You don't know the half of it, little guy. Boy, that's a rugged place. That's a Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Activate the gyro. No, it's pronounced Euro. Activated, sir. Secure for landing. Please put your seats in their locked upright position. But even if we can spot a place in that rocky terrain, the orbit jet won't stand on its tail. Don't start We're with me, Winky. We're going to go Winky. right into one of their landing platforms. Somebody's going to be surprised. <laughs> I hope it isn't us. No. You hear an invisible ship Did just now? Signal for a landing? Who could possibly land them Prague? Uh -huh. Marco. Polo. Marco. Polo. Marco here. Who's making a landing? Nothing's coming into the landing platforms. Are you blind? Yes, sir. Why do you ask? Look, Doc. Sounds like a blimp. Keep the visiograph on, Winky. You'll have to cover me. They start anything, blast them. I'll keep my trigger finger ready. You'll be able to see me materialize on the ship's invisible day blanket. I'll be buck naked. They're going to be even more surprised than they are now. Underneath Remember, those clothes, he's as smooth as a Ken dog. Right. <laughs> oh, good. Now I can screw off. The Mahavishnu Orchestra. You can see no spaceship has landed here. It must have landed. We heard the rockets. Maybe we're all blind. What do you think, Doc? You heard it. I don't want to get involved. No. I don't know. It's fantastic. We're being paid to know about these things, Vanko. Did a spaceship land or didn't it? This hook is all uh, yo, Ness, I to uh, I'm sort of, I think. I have to keep up to date, Doc. Um, maybe. Or you'll be dropped back to Earth and wind up on the exile planet. Look, there is your answer. Hi, I'm your answer. You expecting someone, Rankman? Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. You have discovered the light vibration of invisibility. It's friendly of you to bring this new discovery to Well, he's got yummy icing on his no collar. Time, mm. Rankman. I'm here with a warning. Don't eat no refrozen ice cream. Orders. There's the orbit jet. Take my word for it. There's a gun on it ready to blast you if you make one false move. I like pancakes. I'll make it break, Rankman. Huh? Stop pirating the spaceships of the United Worlds, or Prowl will be blown out of existence. That's big talk, Rocky. Maddox, no! Da -da 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 uh, Winky? Winky? Oh, for crying out loud, Winky, I can use a little help. Help here, Winky. Oh, Winky! Uh, Winky! Winky! Winky? I didn't think the orbit jet would fire on you to get us. He's got some smooth pants on him. We'll take that chance. Get him to the caves. For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good Oh, I know this is coming up in my review. Mm. Well, they really didn't think through the invasion of this planet too well, did they? Leolanda? Yes? This is Rinkman on Pra. I'm under your desk, actually. Proceed with your report. There's been a slight change in our plans to destroy the He's holding a bottle of Pierre yeah, Cardin. Rocky Joe. Hmm, this knee's on fire. Why wasn't it reported earlier? Because I didn't discover the change until Rocky Jones landed on Pra. <laughs> Thank you. That's impossible. No spaceship can get through the defense barrier. Rocky Jones has discovered a new trick. He's here. What is he up to? But put him out. much. As long as I have him locked up in one of the caves. Keep him under guard. You'll get further orders. Out. Hmm, let's see. I can wear a camisole and a blazer. No, that wouldn't be right either. Uh, um, hello.
Hello. No. Hi. Hi. Hi, my lant. No, no. Mr. Jones, I presume. No. Oh, but, oh, well, Atlasan? Yes, exclamation. Men to prawl to handle the execution of Rankman and Dr. Vanko. Rosencrantz and Gilderstern. Your orders. The Cleolanta, that was your command. I went to a lot of trouble. I said cancel your orders. What's the matter? Did they redeem themselves? For valuable prizes? I prawl and decide if they are to be pardoned. Praw is a barren planet. A land of rock and granite mountains. There's no place for a woman. Don't say barren to me. Have my spaceship made ready. You will serve as pilot. If that is what you wish. It is what I command. Yeah, and we know what kind of weight that carries. Oh, no, my tummy's upset. Mm. Oh, I'll have to wear flats if I'm going to drive a spaceship. I'll probably get his name wrong. I'll call him Sandy Jones or Rusty Jones. You know what? I should have known with a guy like Winky, you know. Yeah, the guy's not even good for ballast. Oh, look at that Bobby. Oh, oh funny. Oh, I just wish I could. Who wants gum anyway? Oh, I love to do that to myself. Good thing they didn't frisk him. Mm. Winky. Winky, am I getting through? Mm. You're coming in clear, Rocky. I'm being held in the cave in one of the mountains. I'll find it. I can't you find know it. How much coal light we have left. You are not to leave the orbit jet. I'll have to find a way to get clear. So keep the ship ready for blast off at any time. Will do. But I feel like a lunkhead just sitting here. Hold that Good thought, Winky. Keep the orbit jet invisible, just as long as the cold light holds out. Stand by. Oh, hi. You must be Rocky. I'm supposed to take your dinner order. Rodan's the thinker. Two of them. Rocky, suppose we make a deal. I'll give you $50 if you have a hard-boiled egg in your purse. You've got something good in that secret of invisibility. Ralph Allison wants yeah, I you. I think so. I could get you off Pra alive pra. in exchange for that secret. You're wasting your time. I'll put it this way. Come in with me. Join me, Rocky. We can rule the world. I mean, as a space pipe? It pays off. Plus benefits. Working out of an invisible spaceship, we'd have the solar system by the tail. Go oh, great, hmm? How about the people you're taking orders from? We won't be needing them. We can brush them off. Like them. Yes, but I don't know who you're working for. You'd like to know. Ricky, quit eavesdropping. Get off the line. All right. Well, Rocky, is it a deal? Or do you rot it out in this cave? Oh, that's the option. Mm. What'll it be, Rocky? Uh, I'll take the surf and turf. I'm on vacation. Keep him covered, Winky. I got him covered, Rocky. You let a guy named Winky fool you? Ooh. Wendy, honey, I think you hurt me real bad. Oh, uh, hi, my gun, and, uh, oh, huh? Hey, move the entire cave. Wow. Come in. Come in. Thank you. Brinkman's been gone a long time. Nice booger call. Yeah, some business with the prison. Mm. He ah, didn't have yeah. to be Rocky Jones mm. alone. Rocky the sharp character. He insisted. I'm going to see what's going on. Okay. Back up. I'll oh, try it. Go on, Dr. Banco. Put your hands in the air and keep clear. Now dance. Go on, get over to side, Dr. Banco. Now, you, give him a back rub. Ooh. Now, don't either one of you try a thing. Winky. Come in, Winky. Go ahead, Rocky. Not much time left. Open the airlock hatch. Airlock Sorry, hatch I'm open. afraid I can't do that, Prepare Dave. For blast off. I'm on my way. Rockets will be roaring. And the spaceship right. will be ready, too. Well, I had a great time and enjoyed the canapes. Uh, say hello to the wife. Hope you don't mind if I just kind of leave. Oh, they got Flintstone furniture. Check it out. He blew it again. Yeah, what was his mission? Go in there, get caught, and escape? <laughs> Look at her go. Oh, hi, Rocky. Where have you been? 
Blast off perfect, Winky. You had yourself quite a time. Yes, but I didn't quite complete the job. We know where the space pirates operate from. And who they are. But we still don't know who's behind Rinkman. I thought we were, sir. We'll keep the cold light on until we're out of Pra's gravity field. I sure hope there's enough energy left in the land. Winky, look. That's us. Strange spaceship headed for Pra. Well, we just blasted off in time. Rinkman's boss is probably on that ship. I'd sure like to have a look inside. Inside the boss? That's disgusting. Thunderbirds are go! This year's Winter Carnival King and Queen. I'm curious, Cleolanta, about this journey to Pra. Do we have enough gas? The truth is, Rocky Jones has been taken prisoner and is being held on Pra. Oh, so that's the reason you're giving it your personal attention. Rear! If you were as smart as my chief officer should You'd be, be half as smart as me. Rocky Jones has caused us more difficulties than any other person in the United World. I want him to work the counter. I want him on our side. You failed before, Cleolanta. This time, I'm not going to fail. I bought some Jovan. Uh-oh. Uh the cold ray thing... Uh... I XV2, think they were just going Casa along 7. because you can see us. This is the XV-2 calling CASA-7. This is CASA-7. Go ahead, XV-2. Message to Paul Ray. Bite me. We are proceeding to CASA-7. Anticipate arrival at uh, 400 solar time. Tell Paul to say hello to Vina and Bobby. Message will be delivered to Paul Ray. He bought it. Thank you, CASA-7. Out. Well, there's the period on this mission. No, Winky. I think there's still a lot more to come before we see the end of the space pirates. Oh. Well, I only hope that Betty doesn't get tired. I told her to wait for me at the bandstand in Central Park. Yeah, right, Winky, you loser. <laughs> well, that was shorter than I thought it would be. Oh! Oh, oh. 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 she... Grand Hotel, hold please. Grand Hotel. Grand this Hotel. This is Casa 7 Central Station. Come in. This is the XB2 approaching gravity field. What is your estimated time of arrival? Uh, 2, 2 30 ish. We'll prepare a landing clearance. Please contact Central Station when you reach altitude 50 miles. Hold we'll on, Winky wants to say miles. hi. Out. Geez, I better get this place cleaned up. Hey, I'm in here. Acapato. Janet, answer. This is Casa 7, Ken speaking. I'd like to make a reservation Go for ahead. two, please. The orbit jet just reported. Approaching Casa 7. He's an odd duck. Do you hear me? No. Tell him to contact you for instructions after the orbit jet lands. Contact me for instructions after the orbit jet lands. Oh, well, here, you just Rinkman. talk. Is everything going as planned? Everything's just fine. Out. You mean everything's ruined by your stupidity. Do we have to go Yeah, that's that? what I meant. I arrive on Pra and find Rocky Jones has made fools of the whole lot of you. He just vanished right in front of our eyes. What can you do against a secret like that? Pause. You can find out what the secret is and use it yourself. But you let him slip right through your fingers. Let's not make a big argument out of it, Atlas Ann. Rocky's gone. Oh. What we have to find out is how do we get him back? Until we dispose of him, our very profitable traffic in United Planet spaceships and their valuable cargoes is finished. Look, we're not getting anywhere. Let's finish them the way we John Palmer. To. My orders stand. I want Rocky Jones alive. Why, Cleolanta? I just don't understand. You don't have to understand, Rinkman. Now concentrate on these orders. Fight me. I want Casa 7 taken. Yes. Oh, that's not a bad idea. And not too difficult to accomplish. Instruct our agent Ken to immobilize their defenses. Casa 7 should be a sitting duck. <laughs> we take it over and all the valuable equipment and material. Don't fail this time. We're returning to Ophetius. We'll take these giant boogers with you. One thing more. You'll not be welcome on Ophetius until you bring Rocky Jones as a prisoner. And you're not invited to my pool party either. Pooh. She's in a foul mood. Your face, Doc. Well, 
Why waste words? They won't ever be heard. They're in the unfortunate position of being obliged to do Cleolanthus' dirty work. My fake accent helps me deal with it. If we take over Casa 7 and lay hands on Rocky Jones, hmm. we'll do the dictating. I could be the secretary. Right now, we have to wait for word from Ken. Ken's a good friend. Hmm. Sturgeon in space. Now Rocky's going to show us how to execute a wide turn in the free fall. Paul, this is Ken at landing controls. You won't yes, believe Ken. where I'm calling the from. The jet is in the process of landing. Know what I mean? Good. I'll be there in a few minutes. Have Rocky wait for me there. Out. That was the bad guys. And hey, it's 72 here in the metro area, and the orbit jet is in the process of landing. Uh, I'm landing on burner number three. Hey, he hit my big wheel. Here we go. Busy, busy, look busy. Well, all safe and ship shape, thanks to Professor Newton's cold light. Now can we go after oh, the ladies? <laughs> Give me all the details on the operation of the cold light for a report to Professor Newton. Will do. When I get to it. You know, I'll bet those space buzzards on Pra are still busy trying to figure out what made the orbit jet invisible. I think we can depend on them trying to find out. That's what I like about you. Hit him. Sure. Hit him. Come on, Wiki. Paul's probably waiting for us. movie hurts quite bad actually yeah there's some things i'd probably change if i had my way yeah. i don't get why ken and tammy and captain joe are flying to the planet with the guy in the mind getup and all that try to kill him with the forklift uh, I bro to... listen that was like 20 experiments ago okay it was oh we're getting a transmission and it's coming from outside the ship and it's not the meds cam i put it up on the hexfield view screen Bono. Winky? Well, actually, my name is Winchester P. Thorndooler, but you can call me Winky. Now we call you that even if you didn't want us to. Bro, oh, come on. Oh, hey, Winky, I thought you were a fictional character. I didn't know you were a real live kid. No, I, I get that a lot, see, because I was a friend of the director's, and so he cast me as myself. Well, the deal is we used to go to lunch a lot. We'd go to this little Italian place up the street, and, and then usually I'd get, like, the salad and then, like, a pasta dish, you know, as my main dish, and still get a beverage, and then I'd get out for under six bucks, which well, is to this wiki oh uh, yeah well the point is i flew my invisible spaceship up here uh, and took time out of my hot and savage dating life what with the oh, beautiful intense girlfriends so, uh, wiki you go out with girls on dates and stuff huh sure yeah yeah i bet you make time with the honeys real good huh winky <laughs> sure winky you've never even touched a woman have you yes i have I, I'm, I'm a real swigger and you can see i'm up here in my invisible spaceship uh winky uh our instruments say that you're calling from from Ladysmith, Wisconsin, Winky. Well, well, then your instruments are wrong because I'm on my invisible spaceship and look at me, I'm a real swinger. Winky, you're not a swinger and you look like hardware Hank. Oh, you're real <laughs> funny, red boy. Well, well, maybe I'll just fly back down to Earth and pick up Clarissa and Tawny and Sue and come back up here and prove to you guys that I oh. date hot, savage women. Wait, Winky, why don't we just call your mother and get this whole thing straightened out? You go right, right ahead, I don't care. Okay, we will. Okay, I don't hey, care. Don't yeah. Ladysmith, Wisconsin. Hello? Oh, hi. Is Winky there? He's in the basement. Hold on a second. Thank you. Winky! Uh, uh, phone. Yeah, uh, Clarissa, why don't you start the hot oils warming up and I'll be right up, okay? What? Oh, my. Winky, that's your mother! It is not my mother. It's Clarissa, no, my girlfriend. Mother, Winky, it's Clarissa, my girlfriend, and she's really pretty, and I kiss her, and you can never get a girlfriend even half that good, because I'm the swinger, and you're nothing, you're nothing. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Clarissa's a real tigress when she's angry. I'll see you guys later. Whew. Ooh, you think we were a little hard on him? Uh, guys, I don't even think we got through. And for Winky's sake, I hope we never do. We'll be right back. Let's have a little quiet time now. The important thing now is we discovered Rinkman's pirate. There he is again. No. Oh, when I asked you to wait here for me, I had a reason. I had to square up my butt, you see. Yeah. No, I'm not a traitor. Andy. Oh, yeah. There was something about the disappearance of our cargo spaceships that bothered me. How did the pirates know the exact schedule? 
So I checked the records. Pure gibberish. I found that each spaceship reported from just outside our gravity field and then vanished. You're lying. I see. Making it look as if Rinkman got his information from here. Well, it should be easy to check. Unfortunately, it isn't. No, that's See, what I meant. Had an Not easy to check. Named Hagar New. Sammy Hagar New. He was an apprentice from Mars. The day Venus' ship disappeared, he vanished. Rocky, you're lying again. I think you'll eventually find your trader, Paul. Have you looked in the garage? Can continue a close guard around here. Of course. Follow me, man, and uh, no comments about the square butt, okay? <laughs> The traitor's not me. I'm just sitting here and I'm not being a traitor. Mm -hmm. Heading out to Eden. Sleepy little felon nodding in. Winky unplugged. Mind. Sleepy little felon? Couldn't keep your head up if you. Looks like he's strumming Palisades Park. Take your ship of slumber where nothing harms. Winky needs Rain professional help. Mm. Who's on a star just kill me, please, kill me. <laughs> Well, things went. Oh, sorry. The sky is winking and blinking asleep. Hey, Winky, come back. Love the sky to Winky. As deeper, still weak. In your palatial, extra spatial, outbound dreamer. To the stars tomorrow. <clears throat> Hi, hon, I'm home. Let's go. Come on. The trail we blaze tonight will be my guide. I'll bet the stars oh, I think it's done. Kind of friendly like. And smile cause they're remembering a little tank. Whose smile the kid's gonna have the darkest dreams he's ever had. Lightning strong. The night he made the star feel right. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Thank you. Stinky as a. Oh, yeah, we'll call you. Okay, thanks. One more time. The night the star feel right. I like your Don't you there. ever do that again. Ovina, when you have that report finished, will you send it to Secretary Drake on the messy scrambler? In a pig's eye. Okay, I'm going to check over the orbit jet. You want me to go with you? No, you stay here. And I'll practice. Be back Bobby sleeping, and it's funny. We'll be back after this word for Lux for dishes. Rickman, Ooh, big thumb. I also cut power on all defense units. Can we come in for a landing? I'll stand by at Central Station. I'll bring you in by ground control. The Major Tom. Don't let Rocky Jones blast off before we arrive. He won't find the orbit jet. I switched on the invisibility equipment. You scam. The equipment we want. <laughs> it's here, ready to be taken. Oh yes. Oh yes. Somebody's coming. Out. So I'll pick you up at seven then. Really nothing going on here. Just kind of make your ship a slumber or nothing. So making a tortilla, huh? Oh, ah, you're working late. Look, no, nothing, nothing. I can do right out. I've been on a twenty four hour duty. I use the charting room for living quarters. I came to check on the orbit jet. It isn't at the landing platform. Joe. That's strange. Let's leave. Yeah. I wonder where it could have been taken. The only place spaceships can be kept is at one of the platforms. And a cool temperature. Uh, see. Oh, have you seen anything of Hagar? No. Not a sign. Stop oh, accusing I'll me! Check the platform again, just to be sure. Shoes for industry, comrade. Oh, wait, I forgot to validate your parking. <laughs> Ken is that close to a written warning. Oh, he's going to do the Letterman thing. <laughs> Ma. And they're gone. Huzzah! They're really proud of that process, yeah. aren't they? Yep, yep. Mom, I found a spaceman. Can I keep him? Okay, now you two play nice together. I think you two will get along. Rocky's into science, too. <laughs> Good morning, Sunshine. Trotsky? Did you also catch up with the traitor, Ken? Uh, yeah, yeah uh, sure. So yeah. it was Ken. Jeez, I hate that guy, Ken. I guess both of us found out too late. You the are an Earthman. Yes, Rocky Jones. I command the orbit jet. I am Hagar Nu, mm. a Martian. They're looking for you as a traitor. Ken arranged that cleverly. After I caught him giving information to the pirates, he had to silence me. Yes, he's quite a hand at that. For two days, 
I was bound and helpless in the charting room at Central Station. It wasn't that bad, Yesterday, really. I was put into a deep sleep, found myself here. Oh, yeah, Winky saying to you, We're too, on my huh? ship, the orbit jet. That's where Ken made his mistake. I know the ship too well. Ken is an evil man. He'll not stop at Ken murder. is sick. Just ask Barbie. Mm -hmm. Yep. If we can get out of these bonds, he'll have missed his chance. Buy bonds where you work or bank. Well, uh, in the meantime, there's some exercises you can do in your office or home, and they're really good for your back. Okay, one, two, three. Now you try. Come on. One. Uh. Come on, lay back down. If I can stretch these bonds, I may be able to slip them over my wrists. Let's see, see if I can stretch the bonds. <laughs> Space Ghost! I think they're losing altitude. This is Walter Cronkite with Roger Mudd, and we're Space Pirates! <laughs> That's the way it works. This is Casa 7 Central Station. Come in. Brinkman here, making approach for landing. Neutralize all circuits, activate gyros. And bring me one. We'll handle circuits and gyros. With fries. Ground control will bring you in for landing. Out. Mm, let's see, a couple of these, a couple of those. Get that one. There we go. Uh, if it's not one thing, it's another. Oh, brother. I saw the Hey, check it out. They're landing on the cover of a popular science magazine. Cool. Kill the props. Well, we made it, Doc. Now we have to take over Casa 7. And do it fast. Get Markov and Link in here. Oh, why don't you take Link off and Mark in there? Avon calling. I ran up here all the way to meet you. Gene Kelly, look. First, there's Paul Ray, taking prisoner. He's headed the entire project to Casa 7. Then what? After that, it'll be easy. Where do we find this Paul Ray? I'll show you. Here, let me show you around. We'll take over, then we'll grab a beer. Okay, now I want you to do your space math. Space 2 plus space 2 equals space 4. Brinkman. Just making a little surprise visit. What are you doing in Alan Brady's office? We've covered the area at least a dozen times lately. Like no yeah, get Winky. Yeah, get him, get him, get Winky. Yeah. Winky. Yeah. Winky. Yeah. Hit him hard. Go for Winky. Yeah. Really hard. Are you guys hungry for dinner? Hey, it's the Nelsons full and half. Hold it. I'll use this. Now do Bobby. Yeah. I said to hold it. Tickle me. We're taking charge here, and if you don't think so, I'll give you a taste of this. It's chocolate. Mm. I think it's slipping loose. Yeah, right. Would you like to hear my plan? <laughs> There, see, told ya. Uh, don't start walking yet, Rocky. No, it's time for a granola bar. I need quick energy. Oh, my wrist! Oh. Hey, why is that ladder going sideways? Because it's space, get it? Oh, see, it's space. That's oh, okay. Ken keeps on the automatic lock. He didn't know there's a way to handle that. With a hand. There's an emergency circuit breaker here. the sign of pizza. Oh, watch that last step. Oh no, the anarchists are here. Good thing I happen to have some sandpaper in my pocket. Hey, hey always carry chalk. Let's see. Mookie is a that's in Breakfast of Champions. Yeah, I don't know. I remember. Mm -hmm. Whoa, almost fooled myself. Boy, I'm good. It's cold filtered. Mm, let's see if they can open the phone. Hands off, green man. The orbit jet is invisible. I don't think Ken will be able to find it again. I am frank to say, I am puzzled. Well said, Martian. had the Martian. platform marked so he'd know where the invisible ship was located. I erased the marks and put them on another platform. <laughs> Aren't I sneaky? <laughs> in space when he looks for the orbit jet. Oh, you kooky. Imagine a surprise when a skull hits a pavement. You're so nuts. <laughs> the 
orbit jet's invisible. I marked the platform. Come on. Now, let's tune into Ken's face as he tries to find the orbit jet. <laughs> we'll walk right into the invisible band. Now, watch my face here when I try to... Where is this invisible band? I don't understand it. You hmm. sure you know what you're doing? I left um, the ship right here twice. I'm maybe an invisible tow truck came and... Blundered somewhere. No. There's nothing here, real or invisible. Rocky Jones and the Martian are on the ship tied up. I said it and I'm glad. If I know Rocky Jones, he didn't stay tied up long. But he couldn't get away. If he did, he's got the orbit jet. And Cleolanta will have your neck. I'll find the ship. If I have to search That's all so three paths... I'll get Rocky's crew into my ship and send them along to Ephesius. If his friend's in danger, Rocky Jones will soon show his hand. Yes, you took the words right out of my mind. What do you do, old man? If the orbit jet is lost, so are you. No, oh, I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Where did the rocket... Oh, ho! No stepping, ho! An American in Paris. Were you looking for me, Ken? <gasps> no, I was looking Poopy. for... This chair! That's it! Ah! Oh, I can't believe I fell for that. Just answer my question. Oh, what are you looking for? Uh. Oh. All right, I've got a nice place for you. It's a day's in. It's not elaborate, but it's clean. Oh. I'm a grim old warrior. <laughs> okay, okay, that's perfect, Steve. Yeah, good special effect. Really tricks the eye. It's Edith Ann. A little paint, a cup of the rust. A silly putty? Why? Oh man, he's wiping boogers on the rocket. Those are some big boogers, let me tell you. Well, now I gotta go change the sand in the ashtrays. Funny how things change, huh? Funny how the hunter becomes the hunted. <laughs> Whose ship is that on the next platform? Well, it's a good ship, Lollipop. Whose ship is it? Ah, go ahead on three. On the ship. Sounds like Ken's in trouble. Hold them here. Go on. That's so cool. It's like Romulan cloaking device. The Klingons had one too. Oh. Jeez, I really had to go. I feel ten pounds lighter. <laughs> Let's see, is that not it, or is it down there not it? Your pockets are speaking to you. They're trying to tell you something. Ooh. Wait a minute. I'm a young buddy Epson. It's impossible. Nobody's in sight. Lock them in the rear section. They've got a long journey ahead. Right, let's go. Wait. We can have the interrogation outside. Doc will go along as navigator. When will we blast off? As soon as I contact Cleolanta and explain... Cleo Lane? Things, I'll give you the word. Hmm? Markoff and I'll be using Paul Ray's quarters. Gene, you keep singing and dancing. Uh, make it tight. Uh, tighter, I can get out of this. Make it tighter. Ken won't give us any more trouble. Now, thanks for the update, well, Quisp. to take Rankman. He's wanted back on Earth to answer for his crimes. Perhaps he'll answer for them sooner than that. What do you mean, Hagenau? I wanted to be certain the traitors are destroyed. I inserted tonite alpha into the rocket tubes of Rickman's spaceship. <sighs> That'll blow them to bits when they blast off. Yes, the traitors will be destroyed. And it'll leave a huge stain. I alive, Hager, no. I don't get the Earth people. Wakey, Paul, Scooter, Diane, Chopper, Chief, McLeod. It's a Fado farce. Have money program. Banco. Link, come in. Oh, look at it. Yes, Linkman? You can blast off any time, Doc. What did you arrange with Cleo Lambda? She's sending two spaceships with troops to police this project. And can you hold on till they arrive? The troops will be taking over before the people here know that Paul Ray is missing. Come back as soon as you can, Doc. I miss we'll you. Lead you here. Miss you a lot. Good flying. And for your good hunting, you'll have to find Rocky Jones. Good Out. fishing, good camping, good eating. Goodbye. I found Rocky Jones! Where are Paul Ray and my crew? You're a little late, Rocky. <laughs> Where are they? They're due to blast off Casa 7 at any moment. 
on which ship? There's only two they ships out there! On my spaceship. Don't let them blast off, Rickman. Stop bluffing, Rocky. You try to hold the ship. You've got to stop them. The ship's in danger of blowing up. Folks, let's relive the scene we just did, only this time. Bingo. Shook myself up. Never really did that before. Will the person with the shiny rocket please move it? It's glaring. Starboard rocket. I'm wearing my strip of bacon today. Ah, <laughs> uh, somebody jammed okay? a potato in the exhaust pipe. Yeah, it registered. Try the starboard rocket again. Jeez, ah! I was just talking to my analyst and things got weird. Dr. Vanko, Link, come in. Urgent. That's a signal, Doc. Take it. Yo. Dr. Vanko. Doc, trouble. Rocky Jones on his way to the ship. Hold blast off. Take him. We'll handle him. Yes, it's Dr. Smith and Mr. Mooney. Have you never seen them before? <laughs> Romeo, Romeo, where? He's here. Open the hatch, then keep me covered. We turn out the lights, and when he comes in, oh, this is going to be so good. Oh, forget it. Hey, huh? This one's mine. And away! Good job, Winky. Oh, right in the Winky. Ow! That's for Betty and for Tawny. Whoa, whoa, Winky. Oh, just in Times Square, bud. <laughs> well, I knew Rocky was all right. You don't know nothing, you little punk. Oh, Bobby. Oh, Paul. You don't know how close you came to oblivion. Oh, Paul. Hagar knew loaded the rockets with Tonite Alpha. Wow. It was lucky I thought of knocking out those fuel pumps, wasn't it? I knew we could depend on you, Wiki. Bobby showed us a new trick with his penknife. It's a trick you out of me. the door controls. Well, I had to do something, didn't I, Rocky? Well, that's why you took me along. <laughs> Bobby, you were wonderful. Oh, Paul, there are a couple of more prisoners at your quarters we have to pick up to add to these. And throw Bobby and we take in them back to Earth to turn them in. Oh, did you find the orbit jet? Yes, and she's ready for blast off. And so am I. Oh, Paul, one more detail. Bite there are me. two spaceships headed here from Ophetius. I'll know what to do with them. Blast them. Oh, happiness fades back to the dark recesses of my hideous life. Mm. <laughs> like you got the worst of it, Ned. <laughs> hey, Rocky, what time do we land on Earth with our cargo of traders? Yeah, why is Betty waiting well, for you? Earth time. Oh, wonderful. Hey, how about using the astrophone? I've already reported to Secretary. Uh, and that's an eggplant, Winky. Yeah, well, uh, you see, I wanted to call Betty. I want to see if she's still waiting for me at the bandstand in Central Park. Oh. Do it, space whack him. Ask her if she has a friend for you. Is this it? Is this it? I'm holding my breath. Is this it? Yeah. Hello. What the? No, you see, Joel, the thing is that I can't. Now, how would you like it if someone came up and? Now, Joel, come on. Being an amplifier makes my innards vibrate. Well, it just makes me feel all funny. Oh, come on, Tom. Crow's having a good time, aren't you? I wouldn't go that far, Joel. And watch out for my eyes. They're brand new. Here, you guys. I'll sing a song. That'll probably make you feel better. Okay. Shadow me, okay, Mr. Amplifier? Okay. Sleepy little fella, nodding in my arms. Couldn't keep your head up if you tried. Can we feel so much better now? Take your ship of slumber, where nothing harms. An astral boy who's on a starfield ride. Joe, for God's sake, I'm not a Stratocaster! Oh. <laughs> 
I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm sorry, you guys. Listen, I got a, uh, I got a uh, letter here. And uh, put that up on Still Store Cam. This is from Ty Rickman, and he's got some pictures there. Cool. They're pretty neat, aren't they? Could you hurry it up a bit? I'm not sure how long I can hold this position. Okay, please. All right, I'm going to no. read Ty's letter by okay. using the golden throat. Oh, no, okay, no, here we go. Not the golden throat. I most I really love you. I really dig your way, hip show. I'll tape you on Friday nights. Watch you as you happen on Saturday morning. And watch the one I taped afterwards. I'll back it to back. It's the only way to go. Tom Servo really needs a woman. Keep up the good work. I really want to. No, no, come on, Joel. On top of everything, I've got to put up with these gratuitous insults. And to think of all I do for the ship around here, well, I've simply had it, my friend. Hey, you know what? Let's see what the system can really do. Okay, no, here no, comes no, a Pete please, Townsend please, windmill. Here we go. Please, I do. <laughs> Reading John Paul Sartre opened up a whole new world for me. Suddenly being a shift supervisor at Arby's wasn't enough anymore. I had to say to myself, I have to do what's right for Frank. I have to do what's going to make Frank feel good in this cold, heartless, modern world. Frank, when I get out of this, I'm going to kill you. Ah, uh, the existence of vague threats that no one can do anything about. It's not a vague threat, Frank. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> a presentation from Comedy Central.